Hey what's up guys, so the Galaxy S11 leaks are back. As we are approaching the end of the year, we're getting more and more technical stuff regarding Samsung's next big thing. So out comes some important Galaxy S11 details via HTML5 benchmark test. This browser benchmark reveals a lot of technical things regarding the S11. So first up, the model number. As you can see, SMG416U running Android 10.0. This is actually a fake model number that Samsung makes in order to hide the real model number. So the real model number of the S11 will be Samsung G986U and the U indicates that this will be the United States version of the Galaxy S11 which is going to be rocking the Snapdragon 865 chip. It's running Android 10 which is good because Android 10 is already on the Galaxy S10 family in the form of beta. We're gonna see the update hitting all the S10 worldwide pretty soon. Samsung's going fast and strong this time this year. So back to the browser benchmark, the important detail that it reveals is actually the screen size. Based on this, the Galaxy S11 has an aspect ratio of 20 by 9 which is a bit longer than we have on the Galaxy S10 family in the Note 10 family which is 19 by 9. So basically what this mean is that screen is actually getting bigger on the S11 family while still keeping the overall size of the phone pretty much the same as the S10 family which means that bezels are going even more slimmer. The S10 family is already pretty bezel-less and anything more than that will be pretty damn awesome. Now as spotted by Tiger Mobile, Samsung recently has granted a patent for its updated punch hole design that can have up to three cameras. As we know with the S10 Plus we have the dual front camera setup which had the depth sensor. Samsung dropped the depth sensor on the Note 10 Plus family in order to make the design better and honestly speaking the depth sensor never made any major difference the selfie result is pretty much the same so what Samsung can do with this triple hole camera setup is that they can implement something like face ID or possibly an ultra wide angle selfie camera similar to the pixel 3 XL or maybe Samsung might implement a motion camera sensor that will have some motion features as we have seen on the pixel 4 these are some of the functionalities that could be implemented with this triple hole camera system again I definitely think that Samsung should go with the hole punch design to towards the middle similar to the Note 10 family. As far as the leaks are concerned, Ice Universe does believe that Samsung will use a punch hole design towards the middle. It's gonna be a single camera and it's gonna be even smaller than the one on the Note 10 Plus. And I think that is the right direction to go as compared to a triple hole punch camera system. Also, Ice Universe tweeted out the latest Geekbench score for the Snapdragon 865 chip. This is the early score right now. 4,250 single core and 13,300 multi-cores. In my opinion, Qualcomm has the best performance in terms of gaming and speed overall out of all the chips. Even some of the tests that I did against the A13 as of now, Qualcomm did so good. But as far as the numbers are concerned, it is still a bit far from the Apple A13 of the iPhone 11 family. Again, this is an early test. By the time it gets into the phone, we might see some improvements in both single and multi-core score. In other Samsung news, the One UI 2.0 beta based on Android 10 is coming to Galaxy S10 devices. It's currently only available in South Korea, Germany and United States. As for China, France, India, Poland, Spain and UK, the update is arriving really soon and soon there will be an official rollout. This time Samsung is definitely on time with the update as compared to last year. So also Samsung has one more flagship Galaxy A lineup device coming up and that is the A91. Via Samuel.com we got the confirmation for for its specification that it's going to feature Snapdragon 855 processor with 8 gigs of RAM. It's going to be very similar to A95G as far as the design and overall features are concerned. The only exception is that it's coming with more RAM, a faster 45 watt charging and the Android 10 version right out of the box. This could actually be the first Samsung phone to come with Android 10.0 right out of the box because it's currently being tested out with the latest version of Android and if that's the case then this might not come this year. Most most likely towards the end of the year. So that's all we have on the Samsung news. The Galaxy S11 could rock a slimmer bezel form factor compared to the S10 family. The early Snapdragon 865 benchmark score, the chip that will power the Galaxy S11 US model, is looking pretty strong. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you haven't entered my iPhone 11 Pro giveaway, be sure to do that right now because on October 20th, I will be announcing the winner. So be sure to subscribe and follow the rules for that. Link will be down below. In the description with that being said i'll see you guys in the next one peace out